Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is whatever day two, day three of the November Legal Day Challenge. Here I'm at the finishing line. Uh, hopefully in 20 hours or so, I'll also be in the finishing line again. But this is just a walk for... <laughs> Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day two of the November League Code Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, I'm supposed to wake up in about nine hours, maybe. No, I, I don't even know if the math is right. Maybe five, uh, maybe eight hours. So I am going to be a little bit rushy on this one. I uh, hope you liked the intro. I was in uh, Central Park near the finishing line. Uh, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow um, or way soon or whatever. But yeah, uh, you know, I've, I've solved this one before uh, less than a year ago. So definitely, if you, if this video isn't everything you want it to be, watch that one as well. Uh, because, uh, yeah, because listen, I need to go to bed. Even if I don't sleep, I, I'm just going to like, you know, close my eyes and just, you know, do let my body rest up, you know, uh, and just meditate or whatever. I don't know. But anyway... <clears throat> So let's take a look at today's problem. Uh, don't really have much of an intro. Hopefully tomorrow we have a celebration intro, but but today we'll just have a we'll see what happens with intro. Okay, so we have a R by C grid. Uh, actually, give you the R and the C. So maybe I don't have to because I'm just so used to writing it um, as an input of the parameters or the, as dimension of the parameters. But that's okay. Okay. Oh, that's why because God's. Uh, the gods and the wars and the the, 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 right? A god can see every cell in the four directions unless there's another war, another god. Though if you have another god, then you can't just extend forever anyways. But that's besides the point. Okay. Um, what's the biggest? Uh, okay, so R and C could be pretty big, even though in total, all time C is still 10 to the fifth. Okay. I think the first thing that um, you might want to consider is whether you are able to simulate it, right? And, and I think that's, and you have to do the math to be able to, well, just see whether we are actually able to do it. Um, okay, so, I mean, and having 100,000, is it? 100,000 cells? Um, I mean, if you're doing linear-ish, it's probably fine, but you cannot do... Um, A uh, linear issue, you're, you're fine, but you cannot do like n square, right? Obviously, and and it could be as simple as just having a one-dimensional thing. So if you do a for loop around it every time, then it's gonna be n square, right? Like if you have a one by a hundred thousand, and then you have to like simulate, and you just have all gods or something. I don't know, right? Okay. So what are we supposed to return? We're supposed to return um, the green cells or the red cells. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we have to return the green or red because. One is just the inward of the other, right? So it's not a big deal. Um, but I guess that's it, right? Okay. So I think the, the key thing is <clears throat> see if you, for me anyway, with these kind of problems, is just see if you can simplify it a little bit, right? And the key, the first thing that I would, one of the things that are in my toolkit would be to think, well, this is two-dimensional grid. Can I simulate it? Uh, or can I uh, um, think of a simpler problem in which it is just one-dimensional, right? Um, and I and whether you know I mean sometimes you can't right but sometimes you can and what I mean by that is that like let's say you have a um, uh, a knight in 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 a in a in chess right meaning that you go go like an L shape thing right well that maybe you can, it's harder to do one dimension or like to kind of uh, separate the dimensions to, you know apart from each other but for this one seems like you should be able to do them kind of independently not quite. Um, because it still overlaps. For example, if you look at this example one, you look at the first row of cell four, um, you know, but we can do them independently and then combine them afterwards, right? Meaning that, um, you know, you because you can now probably just say something like, okay, is this cell like in a vertical or uh, 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 horizontally, is this cell go, um, guarded by a guard, right? Only, or only horizontally. And that combined with the vertical part, you, you ask the same question again. Is this cell guarded vertically? And, you know, and maybe even in four dimensions, if it makes sense, depending on how you implement it. And if any of them are guarded, then it's guarded, right? 
you know, so it's kind of stuff like that. And you can definitely do it in um, one dimensional with just a sweep line algorithm, right? And with this, uh, I'm not gonna lie, today I'm a little bit lazy uh, or like just a little bit rushy, right? Um, it, you know, rushing it a little bit with, with respect to drawing, but you can imagine just, you know, just going from left to right and then right to left for one row and then that should be good. Uh, and honestly, for me, just to kind of give a little bit more of a disclosure, for me at this point, I might not have like the exact details of how I want to implement it or even do 100% visualization, but um, in a contest or an interview, maybe I'll articulate it a little bit more uh, on the interview. Uh, on a contest, this is where I would, um, you know, lean on my experience and practice and stuff like that to just uh, be able to get that answer. So, so okay, so let's do it, right? So maybe we have, um, I don't know, horizontal, maybe I'll just call horizontal, do, 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 right? So we have force um, times C, do, 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 do. and which one is force, right? So true if it is guarded. So for now, we, we just say it's unguarded, right? And then we do the same thing for vertical, right? Um, and then we just do it one at a time, right? So for X in range of R, so for each row, we scan the horizontal, right? So we go, okay, so... <clears throat> and then now you can think of it as just more of a state machine, right? Meaning, okay, is the last thing that we saw a guard or a war? If the last thing we saw is a guard, then, well, then that means that this cell is guarded and then it just keeps on going, right? You. Uh, first, you, you can sweep from left to right, and then you can do another sweep from right to left to kind of combine them, right? Um, so we can do that. So let's do that. So maybe we have like, um, I don't know, got it is equal to uh, force, right? So then now, if, oh, um, I, f I forgot that they're not giving it to you in, uh, so we do have to pause this a little bit. Right, because they don't give it to you in um, in a grid, they give it to you in this lookup thing. But that's fine, right? Because you could do like gods set is equal to set of gods or something, right? Can you do that actually? Um, I, I say this because maybe you can't because this is a list, but we can just convert it to a tuple or something. See, that's what I was saying. Um, so maybe you can do something like um, uh, x y in gods, right? So for this, yeah, just convert it to a tuple, right? And then set do a set on the tuple, and then was set is you go to do, 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 do same thing. Maybe you could even use a helper really, but um, but I mean it's a lot one liner, so it's fine. So we want make sure that it at least once, right? Looks okay. Um, and then now we can do um, if um, x y in God's set, then then what happens? Then we got it is you go to true. Oops. Right, um, if x y is in war set, then got it is equal to force, right? Um, and it doesn't really matter wh whether you f fill this in for guards or like it's true or false because it doesn't really matter. So, um, because we we should never consider it. So yeah, so we can just do this is equal to guard it or um, this right so like is this or right meaning that if it is guarded then we can flip it from force to true and you can never flip it back because well i mean you would never flip it back in one direction but now let's say you want to do it again in the other direction that's what you would do right so we'll try again but now in the other direction right and this is going to be the same uh and maybe we can i don't know uh uh rewrite this so that it's a little bit abstracted but uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> or like, I think that that is the more responsible thing to do and your code look cleaner and all these things so that you don't have to write like very clearly re repeated code. So maybe you could write something like, um, I don't know, right? So, uh, in, in someone like this, uh, eh. Right, so then now you do 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 right. Uh, maybe right, someone like that. Um, hopefully this is right. Actually, I don't know if this actually. You know. 
but in any case, yeah. Uh, and you could probably even do that with the vertical and then like redo this. I don't know. I mean, maybe I, if I wasn't like, um, you know, trying to rush this to, to, to do the marathon tomorrow, um, I might do it that way. But f for now, you know, uh, uh, excuse my little repetition and let's just, um, let's just go for uh, correctness and then and then uh yeah and then we'll, we'll we'll have fun afterwards i don't know right um and note that if we do it this way then we actually don't need to separate horizontal or vertical right so maybe we can even just do like now we can just write guarded right uh i think that's variable name so uh eh. uh let's call it grid i don't know right um, <clears throat> and then now we just do one more loop to find the answer that not got it. So that means that, uh, yeah. So if X, Y, um, not in got it, got set or, uh, X, Y, not in, uh, oh, N, it is an N. And X, Y, not in, uh, was set, then, um, Oh, and grid of x, y is false. Then we just increment count, right? Keep it dumb, right? As long as it's correct, it's not too dumb. I think. Um, all right, looks okay. I probably could test a little bit more, but as you know, I'm. I don't know. I want to get back to bed, so let's run it real quick. Uh, we have a streak going, so that looks okay. And yeah, I mean, it's a little bit slow because I, I don't know, we, we, we do a lot of lazy things. But at the end of the day, this is still linear. Oh, actually, it's not linear, right? Uh, it's kind of tough to think what the complexity is because um, you're not given a grid. So it really, maybe we could be a little bit, I wonder if we can be smarter about this um, without like simulating one cell at a time. You probably can, right? Um, because you can... I mean, doing the intersection is a little bit tough, but you probably can. I'm not going to think about it too much today, though. I hope, you know, that's acceptable. As I already told you, I need to, you know, get out of here, right? So uh, so let me know in the comments uh, how you did, um, what you think. And uh, yeah, and also, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't I, I wish me good luck, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know if people say, you know. Uh, last time I, I wrote mostly the same thing, so hmm, that's a little curious. Why this is that much slower, right? Huh. Hmm, I see. Well, I guess that makes sense. Um, the reason it is slower is because I, I ch used this as a set. I was actually debating it when I was writing it um, to kind of just like manually edit this, but I don't know. It's, it's the, the complexity is the same. It's a little bit awkward because we're doing a lot of lookups. So the constants kind of power up. But uh, but like I said, today it's not going to be the day that I worry about it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Wish me good luck. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.